Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So next we are going to work on the order service. So this is the order service. So in the card service we are storing these items as a JSON, JSON menu items. Those same menu items we are going to put in the order service because those are the items you are going to order that will attach to a restaurant ID and you, we will generate an order ID for this user ID. So similarly here we will have a user ID, restaurant ID, your menu items, JSON your order status and uh, your total price which you need to pay that is the order summary right so card service is just a one table but maybe we'll have another table that's based on my idea and the the idea evolution which i keep having and then i keep adding those things uh, in our services so the card service is kind of done this is how the card service looks like you can see inside card service uh, what do we have is simple controller card controller that is creating the card items here we are checking if we already have an existing card and you are just then you will be just adding a new item inside a menu items and then you will be saving it otherwise you don't have existing card we will be creating a brand new by passing the menu items array just by adding that one and then when it comes to the update cart menu item delete so this is will do the create let's say here uh, maybe we'll have a restaurant id and a menu item id and this is the menu item object these ids should be the same because this is also a menu item id some duplicates right these ids should be same by the way uh, let's say because this is also representing menu item id and this menu item you are adding to the card and for this restaurant let's say I have this restaurant a different restaurant so this is restaurant ID and this is menu item ID and this these are the menu items I have in the system so for this restaurant these are the menu items and for this restaurant this is the menu item okay we did small mistake uh, we need to enforce that uh, because in 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 api wide uh, when you are adding items inside a cart then you should all the items should belongs to a same restaurant right otherwise uh, this will be a mess and our whole logic will be uh, destroyed so we'll keep the same restaurant first of all let me just clear the database because otherwise it will return as the wrong results so let's go to let's add our cart database so card database is here this is my cart api i will add this database how can i add a new one i'm just adding that to the url card so this is our card database and this has this data i will just delete this one and then here for this restaurant id um, and for this menu item id we are adding the items okay why this is returning two menu items that is little surprising because it is one single menu item object okay let me see this is the menu item array yeah this is correct maybe it's my misunderstanding so this is here we have user id the logged in user id menu item id and the restaurant id right here this menu item id doesn't reflect much this menu item id could have been inside this menu items because we don't need this menu item id outside so we can do some changes here inside this i was just testing this and then i found this dto so here restaurant id and then we have menu item id do we really need it maybe no because menu item id will be there inside this payload of menu items so this is the menu item object we are passing 
right so while creating it i from the entity we will remove this field menu item id and we have some errors that we will fix menu item id we don't have so menu item dot id because in the menu item also we are passing id similarly we don't have it menu item dot id i will explain the changes so our application started now copy this token reload this app now i have only restaurant id and menu item because this is the restaurant and this is the dish item i'm adding so i'll first of all authorize clear the database if we have anything and then uh, let's go here restaurant service okay i didn't change the name it's a card service right out for this restaurant i'm adding this menu item okay this has been added let's see what we are returning while returning we are returning something totally wrong menu item and menu items okay go to the create So this is where, where we are adding the menu items. User ID, okay, we are saving the whole payload, but we don't need to pass the whole payload here. We are passing the restaurant ID. Restaurant ID we are getting from this payload dot restaurant ID. okay these are the only fields we have let me try again okay this is correct now you can see we have two menu items restaurant id user id and the menu items okay now if i if i want to delete an update what i need i just need to pass the restaurant id and either this uh, whole object or just a menu item id currently it's fine if you are passing this menu items object so we have this restaurant this this cart i can also try to get my cart menu items and i have two menu items added now if i want to update what i will do is let's say i want to update some name of this with something right this is the menu item id we have and this got updated right and then there is a delete which will delete this menu item actually these ids are duplicate that's why you see the two records otherwise there should be only one record it will delete and we have menu items empty now if you want to clear it out that means i don't even want to have the existing session so you just pass the i don't think we need to pass any body we will just fix this in the controller get put delete clear right so we don't need a body remove this similarly in the get we don't need to pass any body that is already clear now i need to reload this again put the token testing is again sometimes okay i will just put the token and testing clear clear right so all the my record uh, has been deleted from the card table this is our card service now moving to our uh, proxy there we can create a middleware for it so there is a gateway proxy service i think we already have created for cart now we can do for order card service is running on uh, i need to now remember the ports also proxy service card service is running on 3002 order service is running on 3004 so let's work on the order service now coming to our diagram what do we have in the order service we are storing all these properties and we are exposing some apis like create order cancel order then once the order is created we will just uh, apply the status created order delivered 
right order cancelled these can be different status of an order and this menu item json will have the same record okay till now there was no we were not talking about any events because all are synchronous operations you add items to the cart you are able to search items from the restaurant service you are able to add things inside a cart because we have done only this cart service is also now we can gray out so here we have in these services we are not talking about events events may be like when you create a user you can send a email to the events using some user created event but now inside order service once order is created we are going to do a lot of things okay so let's work on that card service was totally dumb service i just created it as a very fast and it's just like a simple crud order service will have a lots of things okay and uh, let's work on that so i will just create a layout and then we will build on top of that order service will have a user id order id sorry restaurant id and menu item json status and the price total because this is order and we will place this order and then it will go to the payments and the delivery service So this order service is going to be a little tricky if we see the code code is going to be the same as uh, any other service but if we look at the logic of the order service because uh, here we have uh, we need to have this state machine of the order status let's say you created the order then when can you cancel it okay within the uh, one minute of the order you can cancel it but after that you cannot cancel the order if the order has been created right because order has been placed and the payment has been done all these things we need to consider through the state machine right let's say the order has been created and the payment has already been made right so we need to link order with the payment service uh, it's there would be a coupling because once the order is created and the payment is made then the order status is like ordered right in that case payment has been made you cannot just cancel it you can cancel it then there will be a refund process and all this is what the the real uber eats clone app works then we have these methods get all, all my orders then uh, we just we are just going to return this uh, json object of all your successful orders we will just return get order by id you, you can place a multiple orders and then by id we will give you the whole summary of your order and then update order you can just update a metadata of order update comment if you want to just update a particular comment for the delivery partner and for the restaurant then you can just add a comment which uh, the restaurant partner can receive and process your order accordingly so initially because i think order service is going to be a lot more than that this is my initial idea about order service having one operations and then attach this order service to a payment service because once the order is created what we need to do is once you say is let's say we, if you talk about the front end you see the the menu items in your cart and then you do the checkout when you click on checkout actually you go to the payment screen directly where you apply the promo code and you do the payment once the payment is done then we are going to bootstrap the order record and the payment record because first we create a order service and then attach the payment records with that because before that the order has not been created only the menu items are in the cart because sometimes what happens is you go to the cart screen and you do the checkout and somewhere in the between you cancel everything that means order has not been created your items are still in the cart so order will be created only on the successful processing of your payment to the stripe then we will create the order record with all the menu items you have in the record and then the payment id will be created okay this is the order id for this payment and then this is the status and the order status or status is ordered and then we will raise uh, some events internal events in the services to do the the background jobs once the order is created then assign a delivery partner and uh, sending the acknowledgement email of the payment successful creation so you will just use some email uh, service third party email service to send email acknowledgement emails so this order service initially going to have a user id restaurant id and this menu item json which we will just copy dump from uh, whatever we are getting from the cart service or from the ui and the status initially is 
uh, initiated because order like when you go to the checkout screen then the order status will become initiated we can do it both the way let's say you just create an order as a initiated but uh, just create that order as a draft okay you will you will still receive an order id but you haven't made a payment right once you create a payment of that order then you will have order id already created but the status will change and uh, other ways don't even create the order order create the order only after the payment is done so we'll think more about it uh, properly and then we'll implement it from the code the order service is going to be the similar simple it's going to have a one simple entity this uh, order entity will just rename it to the order order controller order service and all and here we need to add a proper authorization okay who is updating the order and how many items do we have because here we are cloning the the menu items from the cart service or from the ui so let's see this order service in the coming sessions let me think more about what all we can put otherwise it's going to be a simple operation and then we need to have a simple state machine when you can do with when and what you can do with order like because there, there are multiple state transitions ordered cancelled uh, in draft or order initiated right uh, maybe order has been created but payment has been cancelled right so what happens is order created but payment has been cancelled or payment has not been made but first of all we will create order only after payment has been created so we are going to use a type rm transactions and uh, some communication between these two services so that uh, we can create order and the payment records.